The Man Behind the Tudors by Kristen Clayton Yardling. Um, so you get um, like a little bit of a note um, and then you get key people and key battles. So, um, so you like just important people and events. Um, Thomas Howard, second Duke of Norfolk. So that's who it's about, Thomas Howard. <laughs> um, so there's 11 chapters ending with death and burial in 1524, and you get an epilogue of memory and legacy. Um, so I got more out of this book as a book that is more on the people and events around him and his part in it rather than like about him um, as a biography about like him um it's almost like a second almost a second character in his own biography so that's the sense i got out of um this book um there are sections where it is um on him but it's He's almost plain second in his own kind of book, but that's how I've interpreted how the author placed the information. There is really great information, so like his role in certain people's lives, certain events. So if you want that, this can be a book of um, book for you if you want if you're doing something about him or like the Tudor era. This can be a very good helpful book. Um, like per people he worked for, his own illness, travel, marriages, politics, um, not living on like fam, um, like giving family estates, like so, like giving up the family estates, um, his own like funeral, um, mention of his two grandkids, Anne Boleyn and Catherine Howard. So, and we know how those <laughs> kind of what those girls lives went um grandkid henry um howard um fourth to be executed by henry the eighth so his family's connection to henry the eighth um so um on in the notes section it does um talk about like dates and the primary and secondary sourcing um, between 1155 and 1751, the calendar year was held to begin on 25th March, not on Jan 1st January. The, in this publication, dates have been modernized. For example, 1st February 1513, old style, is corrected to 1st February 1514. So, there's that. Um, so you got like key people like the Howard family. Um, so like um, Howard Robert Howard, grandfather of Thomas Howard, second Duke of Norfolk, married um, Margaret de Moy. So you get like that kind of stuff. Um, the Tanling family, the English royal court. Um, and then just a short list of um, battles. So, like, ancestry and childhood. So, um, it goes through, um, his, like, early life and everything. Um, Edward the Fifth and Richard the Third. So, um, Thomas Howard returned to the royal household in the aftermath of Richard III's seizure of power. Um, so, like, you can see the influence of, like, different people and events of what it had happened, like, shaped his, um, life. Um, so, um, if... Thomas Howard or like the Tudor, Tudor family is of interest to you, this can be um, a decent look to have a look into. How many times can I say <laughs> it like that? But it is a decent book to look into at that time period or he is of interest to you. Um, yeah. Um, 
yeah overall a decent book to have if you're doing like research so yeah the man behind the tutors happy readings